All right, everybody who donated Coolaroos, you are gonna love this. It's Thurston on the left and Lovey on the right sharing a Coolaroo today. Is that not precious? It's so precious. Hey, Zachary. Hi, Dale. Well, we're gonna share a Coolaroo and a bath. How sweet is that? Hi, Dad. I saw Becky heading out of food prep on the nest cam, so I figured I'd catch up with her and we can do evening meds and snacks with the cats, but as I was going by Thurston and Lovey, I just couldn't help but stop and share with, hi Lori and Karen and Mary, uh, couldn't help but stop and share them. They're just so precious. Happy Catterday to all of you guys too. Hey Leslie and Debbie and Amanda. Thank you all for joining us today. I don't know what happened with that voting thing. I think I may have misunderstood the, the way it was supposed to go because the voting was supposed to be yesterday and today and yesterday, oh God, you guys are killing me, you're so cute. Yesterday, all of the funds that they were raising were for their own charities that they support and then today would have been for the charities based on your votes. And so we uploaded the video because it said upload it yesterday, which is what we did. And people were voting on it yesterday. And then today it wasn't there. So I tried uploading it this morning. I tried reaching out to the people at Project for Awesome to find out what the problem was. Maybe I should have tried a different video, but uh, I got busy and then I forgot. So I hate that we missed out on that. Kirsten, thank you for helping make up for the fact that we missed out on that. So I apologize for all of you that I sent there to vote when you weren't able to do it. Don't they look like a heart? They look like a little heart the way they're, they're cuddled up together there. little twitchy tail going. Well, it's been a beautiful day here at the sanctuary. It's uh, 75 degrees and we've had lots of tours today. We got the PA system working so now when people come for a tour we have a lot of different places they could be now. <laughs> they could be downstairs watching a movie. They could be outside in the Be the Cat exhibit where they're actually in a cage, just like the cat would be. Or they could be out in the parking lot or they might be in the bathroom or they might be shopping in the gift shop or who knows <laughs> where all they could be. So we put four speakers out so that we can call everybody when their tour is ready to go without having to run around yelling. That'll be nice. Hi, Tiger Lily. Can we come see you too? On our way to find Miss Becky. Oh dear. Will has been in the hospital. He's just not doing well enough outside. He had gained four pounds being inside in the hospital and he was just sick of being in there. So we let him go back out and he lost all four of those pounds again. So we're trying to put the weight back on him. Hey, Tiger Lily. Who's a pretty girl? She's such a pretty girl. She's an old one. Very, very old one. I know, Will's just really had it rough. You got the twitchy tail going on too. Alright, we're gonna go find Becky. Where is Mama Becky? Been working on our Amazon store most of the day today. There were so many items that Shopify was not sinking. And so I had put in a customer support ticket and they 
showed me something to try, which worked for 90% of the items, but the rest of them, I'm just pulling my hair out. I'm not seeing a golf cart back here. How far could she have gotten? Looking gut. Stephanie and Mary Dresser, thank you very much for donating. Here's our handsome King Todd. I don't see food in for him yet. And that would be on the list, isn't it, Bisco, trying to get your attention? Trying to get somebody's attention. I want somebody's attention. I can't just be ignored here. No, I can't be ignored. No, Bisco. Where's Mrs. Claus? Where's your girlfriend? Hey, Sandy Whitcock. Thank you for donating. Oh, there she is. There's your friend. Whoa. They're so busy. Such busy bobcats. She's trying to be cuddly. She's trying to be your friend. I wonder if maybe Becky's already gone around the corner here. <laughs> hey, Smalls. It's just bobcat cuteness today. Everywhere I look, there's bobcat cuteness. Kathy, I'm going to have to ask you to turn your volume all the way up because when I'm walking around, I just can't be yelling at the cats. And if I get my face down close enough that you guys can hear, I can't see your comments. John, there's plenty of stuff you can do from Austin. If you go to bigcatrescue.org, up at the top, there's a button called Get Involved. And there are lots of things you can do from anywhere in the world to protect these cats. Jeff, thank you very much for donating. I don't see a cart down that direction. So I'm going to backtrack all the way to food prep, see if I see her there. Uh, somebody just asked how close the Big Cat Public Safety Act is to passing. We have 102 or 103 co-sponsors now, which is amazing. And over 30 of those are Republicans, which is really important when the Congress is controlled by the Republicans. But we need more. and. What we need everybody to do is to just constantly stay on your member of Congress until they co-sponsor, which is um, signing up ahead of time to say when this comes up for a vote that they're going to vote for it. Now, a lot of you will get form letters back from your member of Congress saying, I'll remember 
what you ask me to do when it comes up for a vote. That's not what we want them to do. What we want them to do is become co-sponsors, join those 103 people, and that way it lets the leader of the subcommittees know that this is important and that people want to have a hearing on it. There's only about, isn't it beautiful? Only about 3% of bills ever become law. And so it's really hard to get a law passed. And that's why we ask you guys to be calling them every week. Some people even call them every day. <laughs> and you can do that at bigcatact.com. When you put in your information, it will actually dial their phone number for you and give you a little script. It just says, please ask your boss to champion the Big Cat Public Safety Act. And that's it. And they're not there right now. <laughs> so you're just gonna talk to an answering machine. It's not gonna be scary. And if every day they come in there and their entire mailbox is full of people saying, please ask your boss to champion the Big Cat Public Safety Act, then they're gonna ask their boss to do that so they don't have to keep taking those calls. I'm not seeing a golf cart down there. Uh, the way you know whether or not your rep is already a co-sponsor is to go to bigcatrescue.org slash house, H-O-U-S-E. Hi, Seth! And you'll see a list of the ones who have already signed up to say they are co-sponsors. I'm looking for Becky and Evening Meds. I'm looking for Becky and Evening Meds. They were, last time I saw them with my Mac, working their way around. <laughs> I am way behind them. Okay. What are you headed out to do? Back when, when I rinsed out Max Den box, you know, I was a puddle in my, my brain. Like, pop it up. Oh dear. What a beautiful day. This is my time of year for <laughs> my soap is sweat. Yeah, I think they were moving towards Tiger, so they're probably in the Tiger zone. I heard the land bridge collapse, so I can't go the shortcut. <laughs> it collapsed? The wooden part. Oh yeah. I cut through at Lovey and Thurston and they must have been going west as I was going north. I'm sure it would be hard to find somebody here, but you guys are all rotating the same, same way. <laughs> Rachel Weiss and Karen. Max! Where are you going, buddy? Max! Hi! I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. Where's Mary Ann? She's in here somewhere. a good idea for Matt to give the to some chicken. Hi Mary Ann. Hello. Oh, he's skin chatting over. What? What is it? Oh, it's so exciting. I don't think it's just going. Woo woo. Woo woo. Did you have an exciting day? Yeah? Did you get lots of enrichment from your keepers? Alicia, Maya is doing great. I came out earlier and filmed Matt in Max's cage, changing out his hay. And we visited with Maya and Mac and Riza at that time.
Manny the Jaguar and Nat the Amur Leopard are also settling in quite well. They're eating well. Beecher is eating great. He's eating all the different kinds of fishes and seafood, shrimp and scallops and uh, whitefish and salmon. And <laughs> you name it, he loves the fish. But he started eating the red meat too, which is fabulous because we can start feeding him the ground diet, the um, beef-based ground diet that has all of the vitamins and minerals mixed into it. That'll be a lot healthier for him. Well, there went Sue. Huh. I see Hoover's been fed in his lockout like a good boy. At the coordinator meeting, we were talking about the fact that he really needs to be trained to eat in his feeding lockout and not be training us to be stick feeding him on his platform. So I'm glad to see they fed him in there. Oh dear. <laughs> um, having a stabilizer meltdown here. I don't know what that was about. I know that picture of Manny in his den with all his toys was hilarious. What's doing? What's that item is doing back there? <gasps> She's being very sneaky. Timber, thank you very much for donating. Well, I see a golf cart way over there by Arthur and Andre. So hopefully that will be Becky. We'll get there before she gets completely done. Hey Priya. That's Priya lounging on her platform looking out over the lake. I'm not as much fun to chase on foot, am I? I've been on my bike today, so she's been chasing my bike all over the place. <gasps> Kali! <laughs> oh yeah, getting lots of hearts for Kali. Uh, you're right, he may take a while to realize that nobody's going to take his toys away from him. The nice thing about the fundraisers that Luana is talking about here is that it doesn't cost you anything. You just set up a fundraiser and she'll tell you how. It's really easy. And then other people donate. What is she doing over there? <laughs> um, she had to sneak over and get Andre's meds before the other two came. Because they were up there on the platform on both sides of the box. So she tried to sneak in this way before, so they wouldn't notice it. There. <laughs> I didn't know there was a gate there. That's why I was like, what is she doing? I kind of made a gate there because <laughs> oh, okay. I needed to sneak in. I was trying to sneak in before the other two came over there.
like Zabu still has presents under the tree. Yeah. This morning she was sitting on the side of the tree and she just looked so cute. <laughs> Were you posing? You know, just stay away from him. get on the clean side we took the squeeze cage out and put a bigger cage in so that was all nice and clean because we'd already cleaned the other side and he'd already pooped on it so he didn't want to go on the nice clean side so he wanted to lay down right by the poop so what he did was he took the underneath blanket and curled it over where the poop was so he could lay there and not have the poop blanket. <laughs> they're so smart Paula thank you for donating One of them is Joy. Clarissa loves you, Zebu. Just now noticed them? <laughs> They've been there the whole time. is the boss for sure. Jenna, Amanda does like some people. She likes Gail and Ashton, I know for sure. Joseph is eating well. Mary Ellen, we've never brought in a cheetah. We've been working on an import of a cheetah, but those take years through all of the red tape. We're expecting maybe March or April of next year. Giant turkey legs now. So the lions are happy. <laughs> <clears throat> Tiger's not so into that? The turkey legs? Yeah. Not so much. I've never heard anybody mention them eating them. Mm -mm. Uh, 
um, sometimes we've handed them out if we have extras to um, a couple of the girls. Like Kalee will eat one occasionally. She's not like super excited about it, but if you put it in her cage, she'll eat it. <laughs> but we don't often have extras because we typically save them for Joe and Cammie because they like them so much. Sometimes that's all they'll eat. So. Joseph's like two days in a row been eating everything we basically bring out here. So he's had a couple of big days of food. That is a gigantic. It is gigantic. Pie. It is yeah. huge. Compared to the size of your hand, it's like I know. the size of your hand. These are like, because usually the turkey legs are about a pound. I think these are like two and a half, almost three pounds of meat. Goodness. Yeah, they're heavy. Where do we get those? Um, actually, they come from the same distributor that we get all of our poultry from, uh, Master Purveyors. They just, these are the boys, Tom hens, or t Toms, I guess they call them. And then they're, the hens are the smaller turkey legs. Mm. And so it's usually whatever they have on hand when I order it. Sometimes it's a mixture. Sometimes they have one, sometimes they have the other. Need another one? Another one? All right, good job. <laughs> like you, had to ha you had to meet me halfway, bud. These aren't the long toms. <laughs> Mary Flynn says it looks like a ham. <laughs> it does kind of look like a ham. But he and Cammie both love these turkey legs. Christine wants to know if you're here seven days a week. <laughs> it seems like it some weeks. <laughs> um, but I am usually at least on property five days a week. And then um, even on Tuesdays and Wednesdays that are my days off, I wind up coming out for something usually. Staff meeting, rescue. <laughs> <laughs> Fluids. Fluids. Meds. It's not very long of a drive though. It's not. I live like a block outside the back gate, so <laughs> it is super easy to come in and help out. We want to know if you ever comb his mane. Oh, I wish we could, but he will not let us, and so it's not worth stressing him out for us to try to get those mats out of his mane. I tried one time with the little scratchers to grab one of them and he got very angry. <laughs> I just can't imagine him putting up on that. He got very, very angry. So He actually doesn't mind the scratching. It's, but when you catch it in one of those mats, he's like, oh, no. <laughs> nope. It makes me cringe, yeah. That is a lot of bone. He might be slow, but he still has quite a bit of jaw strength left. All those yummy bits. Did Cameron eat everything? No, but he ate about four pounds. Mm, that's pretty good. He ate the two turkey thighs. That big two-pound turkey drum. Okay. Alright. Does he have food left over? Yeah. See if Joseph wants some more. Turkey breast. Does he have turkey breast yeah. in there? Maybe Joseph will eat it. I heard Joseph ate everything in his bucket this morning. He ate everything in his bucket yesterday, too. We're on a roll. He's hungry right now. Well, I don't know what it is, but Cameron we're ate almost eight pounds, pounds today. I don't even know if I can read Zeusie back here. Let's see. No. No aisle that way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we see the problem. There's a tunnel that joins these two enclosures here. And so 
she can't walk through here to get over to the other side to reach Zeus. Come on, Zeus! Are you coming? Yeah! Oh, that's a good boy! You can do it! Almost. Almost! Well, maybe not. <laughs> All the way around. Across the street there is our two and a half acre vacation rotation enclosure. And each of the cats gets a two week vacation out in that space. Each of the big cats, lions and tigers. The smaller cats have a 22,000 square foot enclosure that they get two week vacations in. Problem is, by the time she gets all the way around there, he's going to move. Because he just thinks that's so funny. You having a bath now? Yes, Shauna, Manny would have to go in funcation because the state does not allow leopards or jaguars to go into an open roof enclosure. I haven't seen him out of his den today, did you? Yeah, when we were over doing the, the RISA, he was out rolling around. Absolutely adorable. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely adorable. Did you get any pictures? I didn't because I had goopy hands so I didn't bring my phone out because we were doing meds so. <laughs> I'm glad to hear he's settling in I'm going to be really quiet because I don't want him to get up and walk away from her They say you're really talented with that thing. Huh? They say you're really talented with that stick. <laughs>
why, but I think it helps him if I tilt too. <laughs> Hard for me not to tilt the camera. <laughs> the four pieces, buddy. Very happy to see you outside. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right, well, thank you everybody for joining us tonight. Were you roaring? You were roaring. That handsome lion was roaring. What are you doing down at the end of your cage down there? Kind of showing you how their cages are built in sections. Sharon knows how these are built because she used to work here. And then he's going through his tunnel back to his other side. And Becky just got through walking all the way around the far end down there. you guys. Good night.